when their gorgeous base leftists who get canceled for their leftist takes i like that yeah everybody is yelling at chapel roan and i think the reason why they're yelling at chapel roan is because she was like yeah i don't really know if i want to vote for kamala harris or endorse her honestly uh there's a lot of problems on on either side and people immediately took that to be like oh she must mean she really likes donald trump or how dare you say that there's a lot of problems on both sides of the fucking equation of the political equation you piece of shit you must clearly be trying to farm like a like a michael jordan style in a michael jordan style way you must clearly be trying to farm like the conservative voters to like buy your product it's like no i think it's probably because of what she has said uh time and time again about american imperialism specifically palestine but i don't know i just genuinely don't know but i'm pretty sure that's why she's saying that um the issue for me at least is like, I don't know why she just doesn't openly state it and be like, listen, I think that if the Democratic Party wants my vote, they should they should seek out my vote. Right. And some of the things that I care about include not murdering babies in Gaza. And I think that that is probably a good thing to stop, even if you don't care about the election. She should say why for sure. She's getting flat from both sides because of it. It don't matter. Even if she said it's because of Palestine, people would be fucking hella mad at her anyway because people are annoying. Um, she turned down the White House invite. She said she won't be a monkey for pride. The pop star tells Rolling Stone she considered going and reading a po uh, reading poetry about Palestinian women in protest, but ultimately decided against it. Yeah, I mean, I think obviously like Palestine is a big issue for her. Um, it's kind of funny to compare her to Taylor Swift and be like, yo, she did the right thing. Chapel Roan is not. She's fake. She's phony. It's like, it's okay for people to have their own personal opinions on stuff like this. You know, you can disagree with them if you want, but it is certainly okay. Uh, you know, I find it really odd that people are just like, no, you don't understand. You will fucking vote for the Democratic Party and you will like it and you will be excited at the prospect. And fuck you, actually. And also, you're no longer actually queer. Genuinely asking, is Chapel Roan actually queer or is she just a culture vulture? <laughs> She moves very fake. Yeah, no. Uh, they'll they'll also... I don't know why they haven't hit the... She's white. She's a white woman. That's why she's doing this line. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm surprised that that hasn't come out yet. She's a rich white woman. Like, Trump won't hurt her type shit. What is this? Liberals, as soon as an LGBTQ person doesn't want to vote for Kamala Harris... I don't want to vote for Kamala. Fuck you, fake lesbian. Calling out someone for using LGBTQ aesthetics while throwing the community under the bus is based, actually. I, I don't get it. Like, you're, you're, a, you're a fan of mine. You have left this in your username. You got free Palestine in your username. And you looked at this and you were like, this person is like using LGBTQ aesthetics while throwing the community under the bus. I just don't get it. I saw the most brain rotted shit about her queer baiting and somehow they made it your fault. Lamau, I hate Twitter. Wait, what? My fault? What the f do I have? Uh, what kind of power do I have over Chapel Rome, bro? I don't even, I don't know her. And I don't think she knows me. All right. Fuck is wrong with you people on Twitter. God damn. It's just like, there is no greater indication that someone's brain is just so permanently and fried from all of the twitch and twitter activity that they engage in because they see like um because you know they just attribute everything to like a random twitch streamer no chatter i also saw this tweet it was something like you normalize the be supportive but also but hate on democrats always mentality which is just insanity yeah dude i am gonna fucking hate on the democratic party unless they do shit okay her best friend follows you who is her best friend why do you know this what <sighs> what the hell Anyway, listen to me, okay? Listen to me, guys. This is, please understand something, okay? There is no reason to have a democratic process or uphold even a theory of democracy if you are not going to extract concessions from your elected representatives. Please, if you do not extract concessions from your elected representatives, then you are not doing your part in the democratic process democracy is not just like a team sport okay the entire point of democracy is so that you vote for an elected representative that actually does right by you okay 
I find it very strange when people advocate for this inherently undemocratic position. This inherently undemocratic position that dictates that no, you must not ask anything of your holy overlords in the Democratic Party. They know best. If they make a decision that you don't like, they actually are probably doing it for a really sick and really cool and really smart reason. And your simple puny peasant brain cannot comprehend the machinations of the uh, of the Democratic Party. Okay, that's what it is. Please shut the fuck up and vote now. I'm sorry. That is a ridiculous way to operate. That is no way that a democracy operates. That's not what it is. What if I'm anti-democracy? Then you're anti-democracy. It's that's an entirely different subject. Chaperone is donating proceeds to the pal to Palestine and told White House to fuck off when they try to pinkwash her. She's extremely political, and this quote is cherry picked out of context. She's criticizing the engine of celebrity endorsement and asking us to engage directly. For every UK ticket sold. One pound goes to LGBTQ rights, charity, Kaleidoscope Trust. And at the Mertz State of Manchester, they're assigned risograph prints selling for 100 uh, pounds with proceeds going towards AIDS, uh, aid for Palestine, wearing charity shop costumes. Fans Kenza and Freya said they admire Rowan's values. She's probably the only artist that's really standing up for things that no one else wants to talk about. Of the prints, Rowan says very carefully, it's just my duty to help send resources to a community that is absolutely being destroyed. And even though Kamala Harris used her deliriously goofy phenomenon in a campaign video, what we really need is a feminine phenomenon and seemingly copied uh, the design of an official Rome baseball cap. Rome hasn't endorsed her yet. And in June, while dressed as Lady Liberty, Rome told the crowd at Governor's Ball Festival in New York that she had declined an invitation to perform at the White House Pride event. We want liberty. We want justice and freedom for all. When you do that, that's when I'll come. I have so many issues with our government in every way, she says. There are so many things that I would want to change, so I don't feel pressure to endorse someone. There's problems on both sides. I encourage people to use your critical thinking skills, use your vote, vote uh, small, vote for what's going on in your city. The change she wants to see in the U.S. this election year, she says instantly, is trans rights. They cannot have cis people making decisions for trans people, period. Yeah, she seems like she really likes Donald Trump, I think. Um, she comes across as like very clearly in the tank, I would say, for uh, Donald Trump, just like me, you know? I can't really tell. She's She seems like a fence sitter. I can't really tell what her perspective is, you know? It's very, very stupid. Uh, a lot of this stuff is very dumb. People are very open about what their perspective is. This is a really good take on the Chapel Roan endorsement. Yeah, we're not stupid. We know that you call everybody a Trump supporter because you want to shut the conversation down. You don't actually think these people that you're calling Trump supporters for having critiques about Kamala Harris and her track record, specifically with the most documented genocide of all time. We know that you don't actually think those people are Trump supporters. You just don't want to have an actual nuanced conversation and actually put lay everything out on the table in a genuine way. You rather be disingenuous and yeah. It's like, that's the funniest aspect of it. it. It's like, first of all, half the fucking, like at least 30% of eligible voters are like in the tank for Trump. So you being like, ah, uh, you're just a Trump supporter, sweetie. Like that doesn't really hit that hard. Especially when Kamala Harris literally is like, please, if you're a Trump supporter, vote for me. Okay. Literally. I will do anything. I love Trump. I love the Republican party. I'm a big fan of Trump. Like that's the tip. That's the top of the fucking ticket. That's the energy that they're running on. Meanwhile, all these fucking delusional losers on the ground that are like, um, we're liberals, sweetie. We care about pride are fucking running around being like, excuse you. If you have an issue with the way that the Democratic Party is currently conducting itself and it's fucking tepid neoliberal centrist attitude on uh, its most progressive policies and outright reactionary white nativist sentiment that they express on a regular basis when it comes to their immigration policies and when it comes to the complete bipartisan consensus uh, when it comes down to American foreign policy, you must be a fucking right-winger. Also, we love right-wingers. So yeah, the reality is if people like Chaparron were right-wingers or if people like myself were right-wingers, the Democratic Party would actually listen to what I had to fucking say because it seems like they care a whole deal more about what the right has to say than they do about what the left has to say. So shut your bitch ass up.